bubble soccer. Organized chaos guaranteed to leave you in stitches. From laughing, that is. It's pretty rough, but the way the bubbles are, they're very strong. There's plenty of space um, all around you for one, and then from your head to the opening at the top is about two feet. So there's no risk of tumbling over or going on your head. I actually went head over heels twice myself. Um, no injuries were, were had. Cheyenne's Parks and Rec's department is hosting the city's first bubble soccer tournament next Saturday at the Eisen Events Center in hopes of creating interest in a league. Before bouncing around on the field myself, I asked someone with a little more experience for some insight into what it's like. What's it like being in this bubble right now? Um, it's extremely hot and fatiguing. How's it feel when you get to bounce against one of, the, uh, one of your opponents? Uh, the most challenging part is falling down and having to get back up again. Have you developed any strategies that you can share with that? Um, just knocking other people over. Another strategy? There were some interesting techniques in front of the goal of basically people just kind of laying down in front of it and having the big ball kind of block the area. The tournament will allow for up to five people on a team with only three players on the field at a time, allowing for substitutions. Reporting in Cheyenne, Jordana Marie, K2 News.